Take it easy, Ricky. As we're looking through the boxes, I already know what I want to look at and what I don't yeah, want to look at. So Where's the NES? Bo box NES is in there. I'm more of an NES guy. Keep digging. Aha. Here we go. I kind of push over all the CD disc based stuff because for me right now in collecting, that's not for me. Puss in Boots. Yes. It's a great game. How much are, are some of these? Throw them at some prices for me. I start digging through the NES stuff, cartridge stuff, Super Nintendo stuff, and I see a few different Nintendo games that catch my eye. Boxed. Uh, so roughly all of those are around 30 bucks each okay. in that condition. Okay. So I see all these different box Nintendo games like Abadox and Knight Rider, and one that's sticking out to me the most has to be a game called Puss in Boots on the NES. This is a game I played all the time alongside games like Felix the Cat. Right. Um, how much for Puss in Boots? About uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks? So Chris starts throwing out to me some of the prices and right away I know I have a backpack with some games in it. I already kind of mentioned to him before that I was going to bring some games. I don't know if you want either of these three things. So we start looking at the games, what I might want, what he wants to give me for what I have. And he ends up wanting to take Resident Evil 7 and Bayonetta 2, which are both sealed. Either of these two. You can these two off your hands. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we'll figure it out after you can just take them now. This, this I've already got. No money was spent. That's the fun part of game hunting and trades and all these craziness of games everywhere in boxes. You never know how it's gonna play out. So that's the way the pursuit played out today. Pick me another one of these games that's on the lower Night Rider. Price. Night Rider. Yeah. Dude, you get a kip in the collection. You get a kip in your collection. Night Rider! <laughs> I said, leave. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as Riff and Chris are going through these boxes, I literally see the N64 box and I'm like, oh my god, I hope Riff doesn't want that. I hope he doesn't. He just glances right over and I'm like, yes. How much on this dude? You? I grab it. Dude, I've been wanting a boxed N64 controller. I didn't even care what color it was. Like 20 bucks? Oh my god! Dude. I'd be foolish not to get this. I just wanted a box N64 controller. That's it. Dude, all the N64 controllers I've had, not one box. I don't need games. I just need Ricky. <laughs> <laughs>